And every single one right now, the person that will tell you that I asked this question. And I walk this earth and I walk into that meeting and show these people that we're doing everything we can possibly do. I would suggest that as we get these new updated meter reading, electronic meter readers, that we don't need people to walk the streets anymore, that I want them to walk the 125 crossings we have over waterways with our sewer system. That I want them to put eyes on it as well. That I didn't want this job if we didn't pass FLOSS and I couldn't commit $40 million to the further improvements on the system because I can't come up with $40 million over so the next four years to keep our promise to you guys and the aggressive timeline that we're on in repairs of this. That uh, I can't be simply open. I do have to um, We get parking trouble a little. We kind of done a little before we got approval because we wanted to start that process. And now we officially have an approval. And that 10 million gallon catch basin will assure us that, uh, that nothing. We're two miles from the river now, and that catch basin will assure us nothing that's near that river at the treatment plant. We continue to rehab on those for, for probably the next decade. You know that. You know how many there are. You know what we're doing. Additional signage is a great idea as well, John. But, um, you want me to hop off the bridge? I'll just leave one well, of them. I know, but I want you to, to come back to us all that have decontaminated wells when this event is over and say that the city of Del Dawson is going to support the effort to reimburse us for the well decontaminations. I own four wells. But these folks all live where I am, and they're all going to have to have wells that need decontaminated. It's not a trivial process. Yeah. That slide had wanted to address a few minutes ago to expound a little on what Ms. Davis had said. We refer to ourselves in Madison County probably <coughs> as fiscally constrained, but in reality, we are poor. Our, that is because we're poor, and there. you know that. Uh, our residents, most of them, don't have the money to pay for the water filtration systems. We had people today who spoke in Madison. They pay anywhere from 45 to 6,000 and above just to get the initial system. That doesn't include replacing the different parts that have to be replaced yearly or however often they need to. When you start talking about buying water and uh, it's costing our county right now several thousand just to do the testing for the people because of course we're doing it for free. So for them, because they shouldn't have to pay for it. But when you look at all the different areas that the people have to try to cover to make sure that they're not using contaminated water, a lot of them don't have the money for it and because of that truthfully, a lot of them who have lived close to the river for many, many years they don't bother, and we don't know what they may at times deal with as a result of the water, but they know they don't have the money. They've always been there, or they've been there for a number of years, and they, they say another spill, and they just don't bother. But the bottom line, and I think with most things, the bottom line just comes down to money, and it hits a lot of our residents very hard along that area. I have a question. I have a question. As far as accountability goes, when these bills happen, are you, is, is anybody fined? I mean, it seems like, is there anything, like if you spill X amount of raw sewage, does the EPA fine the city? Is there any kind of... The EPA, EPB can fine the city. But that is not like... Automatic. It's not, it's not automatic, automatic or is it based on the gallon or whatever. It's, they, they do have that authority to... Have they? Uh, have they ever? I've been here, I've been city manager two years. Um, since I've been here two years, no, that we've not had We've been going on for a long time. Before we're 09 had been happening, we're, so. We're it's under, under the similar, uh, still from the with, uh, with uh, EPD. Uh, but um, as far as I can remember back, I don't think we've had a fine. They, you know, what they've done in lieu of fines is they added more projects to keep the problem from happening. They, they'll, they'll do that many times rather than a dollar value. They'll add more projects to the consent order. How will the notification system change? Notifying, notifying us downstream. And the reason I ask, a year or two ago, my, oh yeah, we have a place in North Kitchener, my lab's playing around the water. We kayak a lot, Scott, like you do. And enjoying the water, get the truck. I have a text from a local official. Stay out of the river. 
the spill had happened four or five days prior. We just found out that day. And I've been in the river playing in my lab and having a good time on the Wiscocci River. How will the notification system change to guarantee that everyone, even those who don't have email and internet access on the river, know about these spills? Because that, to me, is criminal, criminal neglect because you're endangering their lives. I mean, because you're in that water, animals are in that water, farm animals are in that water, and no one knows. I about those three alerts in Florida. The first one was put out on the 10th when all anybody knew was there was spill. Okay, better safe than sorry. The second one was put out when, as I understand it correctly, Valdosta found an elevated bacterial level at US 84, which I believe <coughs> we heard earlier is right next to the state line. Uh, does anyone in Valdosta know how many river miles from US 84 to the state line? 27, or about three days. And is anybody measuring at the intermediate boat ramps to see how the sewage is moving down the river? Valdosta, for example, is Valdosta doing that? No. We have a, an answer from Tom Murdy of Swanee River Water Management District. We have done that, yeah. As you know. <coughs> Did you do it at Knight's Ferry and Anchor? We haven't done it consistently, but we have done it when a, when a spill, you know, when a, when a location popped up, at, you know, either at 84 or at 31, and we looked upstream and downstream in conjunction with DOH and DEP on specific days. 
Yeah, it's a little bit. And we get our side of the bracket. Okay, and with the nice here, Nick, and USA Tour and State Line, but Valdosta has not. Valdosta right. basically flushed its sewage down the river. No, no sir. I'm going to have to throw it there. And Mike, just, just like the gentleman here said, when we got that hot spot at Mike's Creek, we went down there. And we took our crew down there. They took samples. They did the lab work. We took it to a lab in Thomasville because the other folks were going to say, oh, they're just making the numbers up. The numbers that you were posted on your Facebook were much higher than the independent lab and our own folks said. So I really can't let you stand there and not say we haven't been out there and do it. And you ever returned that down data down. in response to the open records request I fired a week ago? I will have to talk to the city clerk about that. You can file it with me, sir. I asked you in your office earlier. And I gave you all the data. You asked me for the data every 